Hi, and welcome to this week's Tenet tutorial. Uh, my name is Lesari Hansen, and I will be your narrator slash artist for this episode, which is the second part in the three-part series on character design. Um, what you see before you is my inspiration sheet for this character, which will be retro sci-fi themed. So without further ado, let's begin. So the first character you see here is um, based off of the movie Barbarella, uh, which is a uh, which is sort of the crown jewel in the retro sci-fi series of movies. It's from the 1960s and it is every kind of awful, but in the best possible way. Um, for this character, I wanted to make something that felt like it was probably made in the 1970s or 60s and had sort of their idea of what 2015 might look like. So, um, for this character, you can see here, I'm actually trying out uh, some very retro feeling, almost like the Jetsons kind of attire for her. Um, I had a bit of a story in mind for the character, because the way that I work the best when I am designing a character is that I want that narration behind it. So, the, this character is an ambassador of Earth going to the moon to discuss uh, mining treaties. So, uh, for this first character, it sort of had that Jetsons feel. Now, for this second character, I went in a very, very different direction. Um, I went with uh, Ridley Scott's movie, The Alien, from the late 70s, early 80s, not entirely certain. Great movie, by the way. If you haven't seen it, do so immediately. Uh, but that had a much more pragmatic feel to it. The characters felt pragmatic, the environment did so as well. Um, and what I wanted to create here was a character that had that sort of feel to her. Somebody who you didn't want to mess with, possibly a minor herself going to negotiate these treaties, possibly somebody who had a stake in it, but definitely somebody with a slightly more accusatory angle to her. Somebody who would not take any of your guff and just be straight to the point about it. Uh, that's why I, for instance, tie, tied this uh, set of overalls to her waist and sort of gave her a wife beater and just gave her a little bit more of a of a tough girl sort of a feel. For this third character, I decided to go in a very different direction uh, than the other two and go with the 1960s version of Star Trek when it first came out. The first generation, maybe? I don't know. I I have watched some Star Trek, but not a lot, so please don't hate me. Um, but for this character, I wanted her to feel 60s, so I sort of went a little bit stewardess, a little bit of the mod movement uh, the 19, that was big in the 1960s in there, and sort of gave her like this high boot and this short skirt, and gave her a little bit more sex appeal than the others, and um, also made her salute, so she has this sort of, already she's, uh, she's very respectful, and she feels a little bit like an ambassador. Uh, for this last character, I decided to go a little bit more modern and um, base my design off of uh, games like Halo or um, the Mass Effect series. This is less so uh, retro, but what you see here is just me trying to create a character which felt a little bit more militarized, which is another way that you can go when designing something like an ambassador. Um, so I wanted for this woman to be wearing a, a sort of a body armor, um, but probably something a little bit more decorative than one might actually think actual body armor would look, because as you can see here, uh, there are large parts of her body which are not covered in the body armor. Um, this is something that you could, of course, say uh, was, was a uh, an aesthetic choice. Like, you can't really say what... Uh, a soldier would be wearing in 15 if you lived in the 60s. It's it's a lot of those sort of uh, sort of things I think about when I'm doing these designs. Uh, one another thing here that I thought about was that Kun looked terrible. Uh, so I sort of gave her sort of more of a commanding come here, like stand right there sort of a feel. So these are my four characters, uh, very different in the way that I approach them. Uh, for the next episode, I will be um, whittling down a face and a character design and sort of giving you a character sheet that actually explains who that character is. So thank you for listening, and I hope to see you next time.